Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. So I'm going to show you guys how to install the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 598GB card. Model number for this card is 11289-01-20G. And if you're interested in the card, I'm going to have a link down below in the description on where you can check it out on Amazon. Alright, so first off, showing you how to install it, I'm not just going to put it in a brand new system. I'm going to show you how to remove an older video card. In this particular example, it's not an upgrade, it's not a downgrade, it's just an example. The card I have in here is the EVGA GeForce RTX 2080 Ultra XC card. And I'm not doing it to show you guys that, you know, I'm getting rid of this card for the AMD card. It's just the card I had in the system right now. So I'm going to show you guys how to remove that card so that you can install the new card. So first off, what you need to do is you're going to need to remove the PCIe connections off of your previous card. So on this card, you can see right over here, they have two, an eight pin and a six pin. So we're just going to push on the little pin right here. We're going to push that down and pull it out. Should come out relatively easy as long as you're pushing that pin in and then pulling out. And then we'll go ahead and push on that pin right over here and pull it out. Okay, comes out pretty easy. And just lay it down because we're going to need that for this video card. This video card requires an 8-pin and a 6-pin PCIe connection. So two separate connections. And they both need to be plugged in for it to work. Okay, now we're also going to need to remove these three screws. These three screws, this card requires three places back here. So this is for video, video, and this is just a holder on the card, just so that it has a little extra room for breathing. The uh, heat pipes on this card and the fins are a little bit wider, so they take up more space. Okay, so I'm just going to unscrew those. So now you don't just pull the video card out because you're going to break the motherboard. So back here, and I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. Okay, so you can see that right there, this little piece of plastic. You're going to have to push that in in order to take the card out. So I'm going to push it, and then you're going to see this wiggle a little bit. That means the card's popping out. So let me zoom out so you can see that. Okay, so that released the video card. And now I just pull the card out. Comes out pretty easily. So if you see right here, there's like a little, little hook like that. So that piece of plastic holds on to this hook so that the card doesn't just fall out maybe during shipping or maybe you're moving the machine from one desk to another just to make sure the card doesn't flip out. Okay, so now if you noticed, there are three spots back here. This card only requires two. So if you've ever upgraded before or this is going to be your first installation, you're going to remove two of these IO plates back here and I'm gonna to need to put one back in. So don't ever throw those away, keep them in a drawer. That way if you want to upgrade or downgrade or something, you can always fill that spot. Okay, so now we grab the card itself. So we're gonna be putting in this into this slot right over here. And then we're gonna be pushing in this piece to back here so that you can plug in 
all these display adapters right back here okay so we're just going to align the card here and then also these two fingers there's little holes back here on the case itself that these slide into so just make sure that slides in perfectly and then once the card is in there a little bit it'll just snap uh, snap right in and then if you remember that little piece right over there that I was mentioning before I'm gonna let go of the card that's right now that's recessed so when I push the card in that's gonna pop out so I'm gonna do it real quick now you may not notice it but then I'm gonna zoom in I'm gonna take the card out again then I'm gonna zoom in so you can see that popping back up so now all you got to do is that's it you've plugged in the card so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out real quick I'm gonna take the card out now I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see that okay it's this little fin here so now I'm gonna put the card in Now watch it pop up. All right, so that's, so now you've inserted the card. Now we have to plug in the PCIe connections. Okay, so now one thing you'll notice on NVIDIA cards, NVIDIA cards typically have this little clip facing downwards. On AMD cards, they typically have it facing upwards. So. You might need to mess around a little bit with your cabling if you're going from NVIDIA to AMD or AMD to NVIDIA. So I'm just going to go ahead and flip these around. So I'll keep that the way it is, but then I'll flip this around. kind of gets in the way when you're inserting this and one sec I'm gonna go ahead and clip the zip tie so that I have a little bit better access all right so I'm just gonna cut that little zip tie out of there I'm not cutting the cable <laughs> just the zip tie itself for cable management just so I can get at this a little bit easier So some 8 pins are 6 plus 2 to make 8 pin and some just come 8 pin. So just push that in and the little clip will go into place. So this was the clip I was referring to previously. Let me zoom in so you can see it. So before when i was telling you that you needed to push that clip down just push that down and pull it out and in this case that little clip is going to lock right up here all right so and mind you the cabling is not pretty right now i'll, I'll play with that a little bit later on but now You've just installed the card into your machine. And then you've also plugged in the PCIe cables to provide power to the cards. Now we're just going to go ahead and screw the card in. Now I might have gotten a little ahead of myself. I should have screwed the card in prior to playing with the, with the PCIe cables but that's okay I just wanted to give you an example so normally what you would do is put the card in screw it in and then attach the PCIe cables so next I'm going to show you guys how to install the driver so be right back all right guys now that we're in the windows after having installed the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 590 
uh, we're going to have to install the drivers. I did a fresh install of Windows just to test this card, but let's say you already have an OS and everything installed, um, and you've had a previous video card before. So what you're going to want to do is download Wagner Soft's DDU or Display Driver Uninstaller. So we'll go click on the latest version. Then we'll scroll down a little bit to where it reads official download here. Click on that. It starts installing it. And then we'll just click on that. And let's go ahead and just put it on the root of the drive in the DDU folders where it's extracting everything to. So we can close this out and then go to the root of the drive, DDU. Okay, so that's where it's installed. So now we're gonna hold the left shift key on the keyboard, right click on the start button, click shut down or sign or hover over shut down or, or sign out, then click restart. So this is gonna go ahead and get you into this part. So you can let go of the shift now. So click troubleshoot, click advanced, see more recovery options, start settings, startup settings, and then click restart. So that's gonna go ahead and boot you into safe mode in Windows. The reason we're doing that is DDU uninstalls any and every driver you may have had in the past. So we're gonna go ahead and press the number four for enable safe mode. Now that's important so that you can get all the features and benefits out of the card. Okay, so then while we're in here, we'll go click on the file manager. Then we'll go into the DDU folder we just created. And then click on display driver uninstaller. Now. Over here in Display Driver Uninstaller, we'll click on the drop down right over here, select device type. We'll select GPU, and then it tells us what card we had before. We didn't have anything before. It's a fresh install, but Windows installs all its own drivers as well. But either way, uh, if you had an AMD card in before, you'll select AMD. If you had Intel or Nvidia before, you click either of those. So we're gonna go ahead and select AMD and then click up here, clean and restart, highly recommended. So this helps get, get rid of a lot of the errors you might see a lot of people have uh, when they are trying to play a game or something, they might get a blue screen um, or other odd errors. So that'll get help to get rid of a lot of those errors so that you have a fresh install. Okay, so now that we're in here, we're just gonna go ahead and open up a browser. I use Chrome, and we'll go to amd.com. Then we'll select up here the three little lines. Then we'll scroll down a little bit till we find drivers and support, and we'll click there. Now from here, we'll select graphics then radeon 500 series and click rx 500 series then we'll select the radeon rx 590 and click submit then select your version of windows i have windows 10 64 bit then we'll get the latest or download the latest revision number Adrenaline, at the time of this recording, it was the Adrenaline 2019 edition, 18.12.3, and we'll click download. Okay, so that's downloading the driver right down here. Now, once that driver's done downloading, we'll just go ahead and click on that. I'll go ahead and close the browser window. And then we'll just leave it at the default directory, which will be CAMD and then the rest, install. Okay, then click accept and custom install. 
You can do express, but I prefer to do custom. Okay, then we'll select to download and install this version, which it's already downloaded, so it's just going to install. Then we'll click install and then install down here. Don't worry, that's normal, the screen flickering, that's the drivers installing or activating. Monitor's a little bit dirty, I was moving a lot of stuff around, so I need to clean that, but at this point, let's see. So then we're, once we're done here, we're given the option to install Radeon Relive. Learn more about Radeon Relive or skip. We'll go ahead and install that. Okay, so then once you're done installing the drivers, don't immediately start playing a game. You need to restart in order for everything to work properly. And once you're done, everything's here, everything's installed. And let me go ahead and close uh, Chrome. Everything's installed, everything's good. And then if you want to make any changes in your drivers, just right click on the desktop, then click AMD Radeon settings. And then from here, you can make all your changes to your gaming profiles. I, it's a clean install, so I don't have anything here yet. To your video profiles, relive, connect, display, and your system itself. So now let's take a look at the card real quick. All right, and here we can see the card itself. Beautiful looking card. It is very quiet, well, because the fans aren't spinning right now. Once it passes 62 degrees, then the fans start revving up. So all the noise you're hearing is from all the fans in my system and the power supply, of course. So, all right, that's about it. Again, this was just a quick video on how to install the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 590 Special Edition card and also how to install the drivers. Iggy out. See you guys. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.